how to manage multiple WordPress websites with Manage WP. Quick and easy. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can manage multiple different WordPress websites on a singular platform. So let's get into it. Now, running a WordPress website can be overtly complicated, and especially if you're a developer, a web designer, or someone that is serving as a website manager for more than one website, and that can be super hectic. It can be so difficult to, you know, switch between websites, making sure that you are notified of all the updates and all of the info on all of the websites. So keeping track of all of that can be super, super difficult if you don't have a central platform to work from. And the central platform that is going to enable you to do that is going to be Manage WP. So Manage WP is a platform that allows you to manage multiple different WordPress websites for free on a singular WordPress dashboard. So they give you the basic options. You can get all the information, the gist of everything, plus security information, malware information, all of that good stuff will be provided by Manage WP. So to get started, you can just click on sign up for free and then you will enter your email address over here and you're simply going to sign up over here just by entering your email address and a confirmation. And once you do that, you're going to begin adding your name and then you will connect your website. So for this, you're actually going to visit your site and copy the home URL. So making sure that we copy our URL correctly, you can just click on paste over here. And now you're simply going to click on add website. And just like that, you need to, once you've entered your website, you're going to enter your WordPress credentials. So you can choose to connect with your WordPress credentials or use a key instead. And you can simply go on ahead in the WordPress plugin page. And in the worker plugin description, the worker plugin can be installed and activated if you don't want to provide your WordPress login to manage WP. This is also an amazing platform if you're, you know, not the sole person in charge. So if you don't want to, you know, spread the password or do anything like that, then you can use this simple way to connect your website to the actual, you know, WordPress dashboard. So you can use the plugin and click on activate and then just use the simple key that they give you. So over here, just at the plugin, you can click on connection management and copy this key. And then you're just going to paste over here and click on add website, and then it will establish a connection. You just have to wait for a couple of seconds. And this is especially useful if you're not the sole owner of the website, especially in that situation, you might not want to give out the user login. And now you can see our website has been added. So you can see over here, our website has been added. And on the right side of my screen, I have basic services. So they provide backup, security, performance, link monitors, uptime of my website, Website, SEO and analytics then you have basic optimization and the basic you know information available so the themes that you have the plugins that you have the WordPress updates that might be available then you can click on websites over here and you can you know add as many as you want in the same fashion so you can click on add website and then you can add more than I mean like more than two more than three you can add multiple different websites however many that you are managing then you can also click on clients and label each individual website with a certain client so you can start a website if a website is a priority website or if it's a website that you want to make sure is you know the priority or you want to be notified of any new updates for that especially because it might be a new launch or something that you are charging more for and then below that you have your basic language information wordpress and php then you can also click on clients and click on add client and this is what i was saying especially if you're a web designer or a coder someone that is managing a website then adding client information is also a simple and effective feature that enables you to make sure that you're able to you know connect a client with their website and provide the accurate clients with accurate automated information about the overall status of the website then you have some add-ons that you can enable as well for a small and minimal fee however i do think that 
using this basic version is going to be more than good enough for you to manage a wordpress website to get all of the information you have template builders you have white labels uh collaborate and history information of your website as well so if you go into templates over here you can click on new template you can enter the template name and click on add plugins and you can make a simple template that will enable you to build your future website so so let's say i want to enter the 21 theme so i can just click on over here enter that to the repository and you can click on done and then you can apply this specific template to any of your websites to give it a cohesive look and this will really shorten the amount of time that you spend in building each individual website this will save you a bunch of time to build newer websites and then you also have white label so you can rename a worker plugin you also have client support pages as well as plugin and theme settings so in this fashion, you can manage multiple websites as one. Plus, you don't have to worry about the individual WordPress dashboard. If you want to focus and do some detailed editing and detailed management or changes, you can head on over back to your basic dashboard and use WordPress as you normally would. And then just for overviewing, you can use the Manage WP uh, WordPress dashboard. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these and techniques that I showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video